Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. It has been a little while because you know, I can't have a channel showing you how to maintain and grow your hair and my hair's not growing. My hair is growing, but you know, if I keep manipulating it and doing all this stuff to it for every video, then it won't be growing and you'll be like, why am I looking at this girl's hair because it doesn't grow. So I've actually decided to give it a rest for a little bit. Just have a little break and just give my hair a break. So as you can see, I've got my hair in protective styles because I've been wearing three wigs. I've got a pixie wig, I've got a straight wig and a curly wig. Currently I'm rocking the pixie wig, which I love. I was almost tempted this close to cut my hair, but I was like, no, I'm not doing it because it defeats the whole purpose. As you can see, my hair is very fluffy. I've had my hair like this for two and a half weeks. Um, and the reason why it's so fluffy is spritzing it, not with water because water does dry out my hair. And somebody said to me before, it doesn't dry out your hair, it's the hydrant, it dries my hair out. So what I've been using is this, the Black Castor Oil Energizing Itch Relief Spray. It says with shea butter and it's non-greasy, nourishes, helps, prevents itchy scalp, moisturizes to create thicker, healthier locks and twists. And so you can spray it onto your plaits. So that's what I've been doing and this is why I have the fluff. My hair never used to really grow in a protective style because there was a lot of breakage. The length retention just wasn't there. So now what I've done this time around, and I have noticed hair growth since taking my hair out of the cane rows, which I've had now for maybe three months. I've taken it out once or twice. Once or twice. I've had it in for about three weeks, taken it out. No, that's not right them in for a long time and I've taken them out it's grown a lot and as you can see I've got a lot of growth that's why you can't see the partings you can see the little waves I have got a lot of growth so yeah my, my plaits are actually now to my armpit I don't think I've actually had plaits to my armpit before <laughs> my hair out is long it's bra strap length or just past bra strap, bra strap length but obviously if you're plaiting your hair or twisting it up it shrinks a little this is what i've been doing differently i've been keeping my hair moisturized in between and obviously it's aiding to the growth i can't have my hair in protective style and just leave it because then it will start to get dry and break your hair needs to be nourished so what i'm going to do today i am going to be taking these plaits out very soon because i've got a product to review so <laughs> i'm going to be taking it out very soon but in the meantime I haven't washed my hair in the last two and a half weeks. So I'm going to give it a quick wash now with the plaits in. I don't, this is not really something I like to do because once I've washed my hair, I like my plaits to look fresh and I know it's gonna make my hair look even more fuzzy, but it's moisturizing my hair and it's doing what it needs to do. It's low manipulation wash day, okay? So what I'm gonna do, clarify my hair with this Kusa Jamaican Black Castor Oil Shampoo. I'm really trying to stick to the castor oil at the moment because I find, I don't know if it's in my head or if it actually is growing my hair, but I do find that the black castor oil reacts nicely with my hair. And then something I'm gonna be using, it's rice water remedy from curly chic and then lastly i'm going to be using this which you've seen i've reviewed before this is my favorite one and it says for dry hair so you can use it as a normal conditioner a mask and a leave-in today i'm going to be using it as a mask and i'm going to be using my lovely heat cap which you may have seen reviewed in my last couple of videos to seal all of that in i'm going to be spritzing my hair with this and then I'm going to seal it in the Jamaican black cast or lavender hair food. So I've told you what the products are, what I'm gonna be using them for. So I will see you in a minute. Takes a toll on everyone, they say. Time is merciless, even we for us to change. Time, I am stressing out. I can't figure out what to say. Oh, time. Just give us time Time Looking back on pictures And I find it hard to see You And myself in places Where we used to be Oh, time We got older, babe And I wanna stay with you Don't get time for games Now what you wanna do Promise 
Okay, so I'm going to leave this in for only five minutes. I think five minutes is an adequate amount of time. Whilst I've got this on my head actually, I'm going to go heat up my heat cap. My hair has now been rinsed from the conditioner. I don't usually dry my hair with a towel, but I had to put a towel on my head because of the way my hair is braided back. Uh, the water was dripping a lot because obviously it wasn't able to free flow, so it was dripping down my face. So now what I'm going to do before I go and have my saltfish and callaloo. If you know, you know. If not, it's another video. <laughs> I'm going to put the deep conditioner in. Just love how this smells. Go on, guys, smell it. it smells like oh, banana smoothie. Right, so I'm just gonna love on my hair in this so it can just seep into my hair. So now I'm gonna put on my heat cap. I heated it up for, I think, two minutes. Right, so guys, as I said, I'm gonna go and have something to eat while I'm cooking. I'm gonna start dinner now. Mom's got chunky and I like it. <laughs> I will be back to you in, I think, gonna, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes. And I sat with the deep conditioner in my hair for about maybe 50 minutes altogether. So now my hair is fully washed. My hair is as clean as it can be in plaits. It feels super smooth. And what I do love about that deep conditioner is it can be used as leave-in conditioner as well, as I mentioned. So I partially washed it out just to keep the moisture in there. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna then spray my ends and my scalp with the Black Castor Oil Energizing and Itch Relief Spray. Just spray my ends because it's just more moisture for my hair. And I've noticed guys, since having my hair in k -Rose, I haven't got any fairy knots or single strand knots. I haven't got any knots. I'm just gonna let it air dry guys. So to seal in all that moisture, final step, I'm going to use my, I love this stuff, my pomade. And I've actually got the aromatherapy oil from it. This brand guys. I'm just gonna seal all the moisture in. It smells divine. I'll make sure I do my ends first. And then work my way up the strands. I honestly think protective style this time round, and I say this time round because this time round I know how to properly look after my protective style rather than just plaiting it and leaving it, has had such a major effect on the health and growth of my hair. And I've actually come to love it. I think the thought of me having my hair up right now in a wash and go kind of terrifies me. I did try it, I don't know, like a day or so when I washed my hair and I, I couldn't take it. So I just came with my hair again. And plus I like my wigs, I like the versatility. So that is it guys. So obviously all the, that pomade that you can see will fade as it dries, but that is it guys. My hair feels clean, obviously moisturized and yeah, that is my Detective Style wash day. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>